guys, and welcome to a new series I'm starting called Redstone for Beginners. When I posted my tic-tac-toe video on my Connect 4 video, I noticed a lot of people were commenting saying, how can you do this in Minecraft? How is this possible? And all that sort of stuff. So I decided I'd show you just how that's done, and hopefully by the end of this series, you'll be able to figure out how to make your own redstone devices using all the techniques that I'm going to teach you. So in this episode, I'm going to teach you a few basics that you really, really need when you're making different mechanisms in Minecraft using redstone. The first is an inverter. An inverter is achieved by simply adding an input, a block with a torch on it, and more wire. That leads to the output. So when you flick this, it turns on when the lever's off and turns off when the lever's on. This is most useful when you have something like this where you have a button hooked up to it and you want it so that when the button is aw isn't pushed, the light will be on and when it is pushed, the light will be off. Or you can even add a nor latch which we'll cover later and that'll change it so that it's on all the time. The next thing we're going to learn is how to add, is how to make vertical up and vertical down redstone. That's achieved if I simply take this away by putting your input, then a block, then a redstone torch, then a block, then a torch, then a block, then a torch, as far as you need it, and then placing blocks like this with redstone, and then your output. So you'll see when this is on, that's off, and it climbs it, and it climbs it. You can even do this so that it's not inverted because that's how you invert it by adding a torch on the top. If you want it to be on when the lever's on, you just simply replace the torch on top with redstone wire. Downward redstone is a little bit more, well, it's not more complicated, but it's more time consuming to make. Um, you'll see you have to do this. You put a torch on the side of the block like that with redstone wire running on it and your output, I mean your input, and then you simply stack the blocks down like this, removing ones at opposite intervals. So you have it like this, and then you simply add redstone on top of each of those with a torch. And then on the other side, we're going to put two blocks out. So you place one block, then another, then destroy that one block. You'll place a torch, a torch, wire, and wire, and then on the bottom for your output, we put wire with a lamp or whatever other device you want to power. So you'll see when I do this, it's flicked on and it goes off. You can stack this just like with the vertical. You can stack it as high as you want. And you can even replace this with a piston or something to pull the block and push the block whenever you want it. This is used to traverse distances way faster than if you made the simple the um, normal thing like this where you stack it up and it's also less spacious so when you have your block like this it takes a lot less time to go up like this with your blocks like this sorry like that than it does to go up like that as you see I've achieved, I've achieved the same height as I have over there by simply stacking it like that. So it's really used for compact areas more than anything, but the other thing I showed you, the inverter, is something you're really going to need if you're serious about making anything with redstone, because it's really one of the basics of Minecraft redstone. You'll use it all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Redstone for Beginners. I'll try to keep all the episodes in this series short like this one, just so it's not too time-consuming for you to watch them. And hopefully you can learn a great deal, and I hope to see you next time on Redstone for Beginners.